Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and we are here with a Timu haul, yay! So let's get started right away and do a couple items and then we'll talk. <laughs> All right, first, okay. So if you saw one of my earlier hauls, I hauled some of these post-it flags, but they were all pastels, even though in the picture they were brights like this. So I thought I'd take a chance and see if I could get some that were brights, and these are. So yay! And so I am using these for my Bible journaling. So I will be cutting off the pink ones and sticking those in my Bible so that if I ever want to, if I sometime during 2024, my year of pink, if I find something I want to have a tab for, then I can put that in there. And I'm going to still use those pastel ones, but I was really wanting the brights. So this will get me through six years of Bible journaling. And yeah, so we've got that. And obviously these are great for all kinds of planner thing, you know, office supply, school, you know, any of that kind of stuff. So let me see. Man, I am getting so cold right now. It's been so hot, but our, in the St. Louis area, our like heat morning or whatever finally expired today so it's finally starting to get cooler but I don't know I don't know if it's my age or losing weight or what it is but I am so sensitive to temperature and like I have to have the water in the shower super hot now. And I don't know, it just, I get really cold really easily. Okay, is that those? No, that's not the same thing. There are, I think, a mixture of three orders. Okay, well, if I don't find it in this one, we will move on. There they are. So yeah, so if you're wanting to get some of those and you really want pastel or you really want bold, just know that there is a difference. Okay, there is 122 pieces in this set. I paid $1.44 and got three price adjustments, and you can get them now for $1.35. Next, we have another card. A recent study shows that six out of six cats don't care that it's your birthday. That is so true. Cats, cats rule the world, right? So anyway, Timu has a bunch of cards for all different occasions. This is obviously a birthday card. This is a really big envelope for this card, but most of their cards are usually blank, except on the cover. So someone's making a boatload of money printing off cards and selling them. And then it comes with an envelope. This is a really sturdy envelope. It's not in too bad a shape. And they never have any lick em to stick em on them. So you have to provide your own adhesive. But this one does have a little slot, slit, whatever, that you can tuck this in if you are not needing to put it in the mail. And someone, I, I was, I was making a comment on another other videos like 
it's surprising that most of the envelopes are red. And someone said, well, maybe it's because it's China. And, you know, that means good luck or something. But some, some of these cards give you the option of what color envelope you want with it. I usually pick red because it's kind of a neutral, well, not a neutral, but it's kind of a unisex color. So, all right, so there's that. Let's see if we can find it. But while I'm looking for that, buffalo plaid. <laughs> so I thought I would find all of the buffalo plaid that I could find and put it on. <laughs> all right, I found the card. The card, I paid $1.64. That's kind of expensive for a card, right? From Timu. And you can currently get it for $1.73. I'm hoping to, well, we're still only in August, but I'm hoping to start looking for pop-up Christmas cards here soon. All right, so I am wearing my buffalo plaid. When I first started this channel, this was my idea of high fashion. Now, well, maybe not high fashion, but this was some of the first pieces that I got on Timu. And I didn't even know it was called Buffalo Plaid, to be honest. And I was kind of looking up where did that Buffalo Plaid come from. And there's a lot of, it sounds like people first started calling it Buffalo Plaid in 1979. And there are some disagreements about where it comes from. Some One option is Native American. Um, one option is Queen Charlotte. And another option is some guy that owned a mill and buffalo. <laughs> so, I don't know. But anyway, I have got on my Timu. These earrings came in like a pack of 10 different styles. And they're, they're just like cheap foam. They're not foam, but it's kind of like foam. So there's that. And... This is a Timu necklace that's off, sort of off center, so that's a little bit annoying. And this is a kind of a shark bite kind of vest. And then, well, Happy Merry Christmas, of course, here in August. But it's a short sleeve shirt, so why not? And then, my tennis shoes. And most recent addition to the collection are the pair eyewear glasses. So these come off. They're just magnetic toppers. I've got my referral code in the description below and you will also find the listings for all of these things that we're going to look at. All right, next this, these boxes never do well. I mean, they're just not designed to do well. But I really, really like mine of this. So I got one for my husband and I managed to get one for him that came with a straw. This is a metal straw. But this is an item that I saw just Jen Hall, and I ordered one kind of right after I saw that, and I ordered mine in pink. And this one is obviously purple. And it comes with a lid, spot to put your straw. You can also flip, flip this up. But what's unique about this one is that it comes with this. So you put it on the outside of this. And then you can take your gas station 
soda or your drink or your fast food drink and you can just put the whole the whole cup that it comes in you just put it in this now if it's a large you won't need this but if it's a smaller like a a medium or a small drink you can this will help keep it in place and then you get the benefit of the insulation from this to keep your drink cold all day and then when you're when you just want to use it as a regular cup you just store this somewhere but um but yeah I've really liked it it really I was gonna see if like you could you could kind of do this to so you don't lose this part of it but yeah I have really liked mine so I got him one too it works really well to keep things in fast food cups cold and his came with a straw which mine did not but that's okay because I've got a plant I've got a bunch of these kind of straws and for a while there like kind of right after I hauled it the last time they probably went out of stock because just Jen had shown it and a lot of people watch her channel so everybody probably ran to get one at the same time I did so they went out of stock for a little bit but then they came back and I think they've kind of been fine since then but let me see I don't think anything from that order has come so I need to stop looking at that one So yeah, so I get a big kick out of Buffalo Plaid. So I, I mean, is this kind of an okay look, right? I mean, it's, it's probably better for winter, but, but yeah, when I saw these, I had to get them because it's like the perfect, and this is, it's a lot of buffalo plaid, right? But it's not too much, is it? I mean, this maybe, I don't like this. I, I have never worn this and I don't like this at all. But I don't know, it's, it's, it's balanced. Now, if I get a hat, a buffalo plaid hat to wear for winter, that might be, that might be, that might be over the top. All right, this any zoo, 30 ounce. So if you use it as it's, you know, like this, it'll hold 30 ounces. I paid $12.87. And this seller only has it in royal purple right now, but they normally have grapefruit pink, rose red, turquoise blue, orange, and lime green. So that, this would be a good seller if I was trying to get one for everybody in my family. I could get everybody a different color and then everybody would know whose is whose. But it's currently $13.57 and yeah, Royal Purple is the only one they've still got at the moment. All right. Next, I think it looks like a necklace. just keep buying necklaces and I don't have anywhere to put these this is a super super long one well I guess you can make it as long or as short as you want right since it's just a leather cord so wherever I want to tie it. I don't know. I'll have to look in the picture to see is are all of these supposed to be down here by it? Like this or are they supposed to be in different places? But anyway, it's just a flower. Which could make it I mean you can cut even though it's got a finished end 
you could cut that off if you didn't want it. I wanted to make it kind of short. Or you could wrap it around twice. It's probably big enough for that if you wanted. So, but yeah, I don't... I don't have a good storage system. Like, I could keep them in these, but they always put the... Uh, sticker and I know you can buy the little Ziploc bags and maybe that's what I should do because at least then they'd stay out of the elements and they wouldn't tarnish as quickly and I could still see kind of see what it is but I don't know I kind of liked having them hang up but but then those fall off the wall given enough time and I just kept stacking more on there so of course it was gonna fall oh man I'm so sorry now you guys are all gonna be yawning too that is so rude Amy we did the yum yum box tonight with the family the one that I had a video of or the last the last one that I did and it was for the Ukraine and it it was not very popular so so yeah that didn't it didn't and and like I said the things that I like they didn't like and vice versa so some boxes are like that okay if it's not in this one oh there it is But, so we, we ate dinner, we watched a couple episodes of Will and Grace, and then we did the Yum Yum box. So now it's starting to get late. It's 8.54, and I'm starting to get tired. Oh, okay, I had this all wrong, this necklace. Okay, you don't tie it. All of these go to the end and then you put them through and you wear it like this. So, okay. So that's a little bit better than, although I, I don't know, I probably need to put it, you need to put it in the one that's opposite over here. Well, that makes a little bit more sense, or it would be a prettier look. Okay, well now I gotta try it on, because now I'm curious, is it gonna just fall off? There's really nothing to kind of hold it in place. Oh, I went through the wrong one again. Sorry. Slip it through here. And I've got it kind of really up here by the neck. I don't know. It's it's hard to see on this shirt, but maybe with like a white shirt. I don't know. It's kind of weird now that I'm looking at it. So I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. Obviously, you could do what I said in the first place if you just wanted to wear it kind of more traditionally. But I'll show you the picture. That That probably would have been smarter for me to just show you the picture. But today you can get it for only one seventy one, dollars 
and I paid $169. So it looks cute on her. She's got the skin tone to make that pop. I don't, it would, it would kind of be lost on me, I think. But maybe not if I have the right outfit. Okay. Okay, well, I try. <laughs> I got some more pins for my column at work that I still haven't taken a picture of. I keep meaning to take a picture of it and post it on my community feed just so you can see. This one. Oh, this calls for a spreadsheet. <laughs> and it's got a metal back. Most of them have had silicone backs, but I keep, I forget to show you guys that in case that matters, but, oh, this calls for a spreadsheet because <laughs> I love Excel. I do so much stuff in Excel. And unfortunately, my office is a Google shop. So we, I'm stuck using Google Sheets for a lot of things. Now there's some things, okay, this is getting nerdy. There are some things that I like, well, Excel is by far a better product than Google Sheets in my opinion, but there are some things in Google Sheets that I really do like, like their ability to just add check boxes to stuff and um, their tables look really nice, but they don't have the same functionality as Excel tables. And because we're a Google shop, then I can share the Google Sheets with my teammates and it makes it easy then for all of us to be able to view and edit and stuff. And I know you can do that with Excel too, but you have to be a Microsoft shop to do that and we just are not. So yeah, I don't know. I had to go down that, can't go down that road. Okay. D duct tape can't fix stupid, but it can muffle the sound. So I thought that was cute. And it's got one of the bag or one of the silicone kind of backs or rubber backs. So yeah, I've got a wooden pillar in my, well, it's probably a steel girder pillar. Girders are probably the things that go up in the, anyway, it's a, it's a steel pillar that has been covered in wood pieces. And so I'm putting, I'm putting these pins on there to kind of create possible conversation pieces since I'm kind of socially awkward and then that way people come in and see it and laugh and then you know might give us something to talk about I don't know all right so the oh this requires a spreadsheet pin I paid 84 cents and you can get it today for 85 cents and the duct tape Pin. I paid 97 cents, got a price adjustment, and you can get it for 97 cents. And I'm doing weird things with my hands again. All right, we got another. Okay, so this one is by far the worst shape I've ever gotten one. And I already know that I'm returning this, and I'm going to show you why. But it's not because of this. This, this kind of stuff you can fix if you work hard enough, but I'll tell you why I'm returning this because it's a piece of junk. So I, they have a whole, so I'm an accountant. They have a whole series of these kind of tins that have accounting basics. So I thought it would be kind of a fun thing to just hang on my wall at work. And it's supposed to tell you it's supposed to be educational too, or like maybe if you were a college student and you were, you know, like this would kind of help you remember and stuff. Well, what I believe they did is, I believe they took a picture of whoever created this originally. I believe they took a picture of it and then printed it on here because you cannot 
read these things. They are kind of blurry and incomplete. I mean, it's just, I mean, that's why I think that's what they did, that they just, I mean, if it's a bigger thing, it's sort of okay. But, I mean, accumulated depreciation, well, it's like, you know that's what the word is, but it's not, it's, and, and like this, you can't even, I mean, it's blurry. It looks, it's a little bit clearer when I look at it on the screen, but it's, in real life, it's pretty blurry. So, yeah, so this I'm returning just because, I mean, if you just wanted artwork, I don't know why you would pick this. So that's why I feel like if you're going to pick something like this, you should be able to read it. And so that's what I think about that. So this is definitely going back. But yeah, when I was putting stuff in this bag to do this haul, I was like, what? I mean, you can't even, you just can't, you can't even make it out. So that, and what did I pay for that? How much money am I getting back? Probably like 50 cents. <laughs> do you hear that? That means our washing machine just finished a cycle. If you didn't hear that, there was some music that started playing. Okay. But yeah, it. I'm noticing more and more the things that you can tell that they've copied and they 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 weren't able to scan it they had to like take a picture of it or if they did like you know if you're if you go online I mean everything's copyright protected right well if you go online and you see a picture you can screenshot it but then it doesn't resize all that well and I mean I really think that's what they've been doing here which is shady but it is what it is okay here we go I really hope I didn't because because they have a whole kind of series of those signs I really hope I didn't buy any other ones and I hope that when I return this they don't make me return it okay I paid $2.96 and it's currently 3.59. I wanna see if, like I need to zoom in. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to read on that too. It's a little bit better the smaller it is. So yeah, I think it's kind of like not only did they take the picture, but they also enlarged it and it just didn't, it just didn't work. But if that's your kind of art, maybe you like and don't care that you can't read the actual things it says. And uh, we've only got two things left. All right, cake tester. So I, I always grew up and we either used toothpicks or in some cases we'd just use a butter knife. And if it came out, you know, then you knew to, if it came out wet, you'd need to keep going. So I don't know. I don't know how it works when you have something just, I mean, I guess this isn't too much smaller than a toothpick, but I just like that it says cake tester. I mean, at some point I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna start if I go, if I go the way of heredity, of heredity, I'm going to start not being able to figure out what things are so that I can, and of course I'll still be baking cakes during that part. So that I'll be able to know that's a cake tester. I may not know what cake is anymore, but I'll know I could test it. Oh, that's terrible. 
but you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh because otherwise you just cry all the time. So the, the current kind of thing in our family, so if you're new here, my mom has Alzheimer's and she doesn't have early onset, but she's younger than like my grandfather when he had it. And so there's, I mean, obviously there's no good prognosis for that, but right now she's determined that she and my dad are going to go visit her parents and her parents have been gone for a while. And it used to be where we would say, well, you know, they, they've died and, and we'd show her the obituaries kind of thing. And back then it, it kind of, kind of was like, okay, but now there's, there's no way to, there's no way for, to prove that, or to just can't understand, right, that they've died. And that's a very common thing. My grandmother, when she was going through it, she, uh, was always asking, I mean, she got to a point where almost like she was a kid and, you know, she was wondering why her parents had left her there and when were they going to come back to get her kind of a thing. So she had regressed back to that point. And so I think this is very similar. You know, you, you want to see your parents and, and it's funny when we were, um, it was probably father's day when I was, when we were over there, like my, all my, like my husband and my kids and my parents and we were looking through, my dad wrote his own, wrote an autobiography and he has lots of pictures in it from his childhood, from, from once he met my mom and then, you know, like their wedding pictures and, and, but he also had, I think pictures of my mom's parents when they were young, maybe when they got married kind of thing. And it's interesting because that's the version that my mom remembers, even though she would have never known them that young. I mean, obviously. And so there were, there were older pictures of them in this book too. And she would look at him and she's like, man, I just don't remember, remember him being old, I guess, which, you know, makes sense because she, she's lost that. So, so yeah, that's kind of a, so then, you know, whenever she starts talking about that, it's like, how do we change the subject, you know, but yet she's a huge NCIS fan and she knows Ducky's dead. <laughs> so she can remember that somehow, but not that her parents are. Okay. Well, that was kind of morbid, but whatever. That's, that's just, that's the, those of us that are dealing with loved ones in that situation, that's how it works. So last item in this haul is a dress. And I had this in my cart for a while, but it kept going in and out of stock. So it finally, and I'm curious, it, it felt in the, um, in the drawing, it felt, or the drawing, in the listing, it felt like it was kind of a dressier dress, but depending on the material, we'll determine if it's a dressier dress or just casual. But, okay, so, I don't, okay, well, this feels like a polyester tablecloth. <laughs> I've had tablecloths like this. I don't know how else to describe it. And I'm not sure if I can get close enough that you can kind of see the, the um, texture. You can kind of see on this white part. Maybe like Jersey knit kind of idea. But anyway, it's a sleeveless dress that has a pretty waistline that is just lace with 
a kind of cream colored. Yeah, it's like whatever, whatever this color is underneath it. But just really pretty colored flowers. And they had several different patterns for this dress in the same listing. And then in the back, you've got a, so I guess it, this also would lend to it being a nicer dress. Is that as far down as that? Okay. So you've got a zip, zip up back. So I will have to wear this with a sweater, but I have a, one of my sweaters from Timu is this, is this color. So I'll probably wear it with that. But I, I favor black over navy, but I just thought this was really pretty. And then it's just got a kind of a free flowing skirt. And comes just a little bit below the knee. So I will be, if it fits, I will wear this for a future haul. But yeah, I think that's pretty. So let me look it up because then I can show you a couple of the other designs that it comes in. I wonder if this is one of those, I wonder if this is an all polyester. This, this feels like the polyester from the, from the seventies, which is okay because the, the flower pattern is okay. Speaking of flower patterns, so 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So, hey, everybody was joking about a shirt she was wearing one on one of her videos and how it was like sheets. And I was like, I remember sheets kind of, you know, floral, floral patterned sheets from the 70s and 80s. And I don't know what they were made of. They were not cotton, at least the ones that my family had, but they were so soft is not the right word, but smooth. I don't know how to describe it because it wasn't satiny because there were satin sheets and it wasn't like that. Starchy is not right either because they were soft, but they had to have been made out of something other than cotton because they just, I don't know, they just don't, didn't feel like cotton, but they were, they didn't snag, they didn't, uh, they washed well and they, they felt cool, like temperature wise cool, you know, when you get into bed and I loved sheets like that, but now everything is, you know, cotton, cotton, co Egyptian cotton, so many thread counts or whatever. And I'm like, I just want some sheets like we used to have, but I don't know what, so any of you that know what I'm talking about from, you know, days gone by, what were those sheets made out of? <laughs> Cause I would really like to look for some like that. I mean, cotton sheets are okay, but I think there are, a lot of hype and not always worth it. So yeah, so I guess, <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but that dress made me think of that because of the flowers. That was, it seemed like, or at least the ones we had, they were always very florally. And, um, and yeah, I just, I just remember they always felt so clean. Like cotton sheets are really good at absorbing oils and that's hard to get out. And for some reason, I don't know, maybe I, when I was just little, I just didn't produce <laughs> those kind of oils. But yeah, I would love to find some sheets like that. So I, I've tried looking for polyester sheets like in like on Amazon and stuff, but 
everybody wants cotton nowadays. So I don't know if you know what they were made out of, if you had sheets like that, or if you still have sheets like that from that time, because they seemed to not wear either. I mean, that was what was weird. They, I mean, your elastic might wear out, but it seemed like the sheets itself didn't wear out. So I don't know, maybe we're, were washing machines just more gentle back then? I don't know. So anyway, well, that was a little side tangent. So let's, okay, I said I was going to look up this dress. I feel like there was something else I had that I didn't look up the price for. But if, if I missed something, then you'll just look in the description below. But let me find this dress. Lace stitching solid dress. I paid $15.37. I got it in an I got it in an XL. Oh. Well, we'll have to see. I may have to upsize that to an XXL. It's weird. Some of the tank dresses run big and some of them don't. So we'll have to see how this one runs. But Here's a picture of her wearing it. See how cute that is? Now for her, it looks like it comes above the knees, but I'm short enough that it will come to my knees at least, I think. Oh, they also had it in black. Why didn't I get the black one? Well, if I have to change the size, I may switch it out and get a black one instead. And then they've got this design, which is pretty. So yeah, and then today, the one that I got is 1609. Oh, they also have royal blue, which would look great with my royal blue glasses, and they have burgundy. But those are kind of, they are solid colors. So those are kind of boring. But that it does come in sizes S to XXL. I better try this on like soon, like today, because the XXL, if I have to size up in black, they've only got five left according to their site. All right, well, that has been it for this haul. And I think that I'm gonna go upstairs and go to bed. It's only 920, but it's been a long day. So anyway, I'm trying to like sit back and I like look down so that my glasses aren't reflecting my light. So this is okay though, right? All right. Well, thank you so much for investing your time with me today and giving me someone to chat with. I love reading your comments after you watch these and I'm still looking for subscribers and thumbs are good too. Just anything, anything you want to do that helps support this channel is appreciated. Really, really appreciated. I appreciate all of you guys and I have fun doing this and I, I should knock on wood. I feel like I finally have hit a groove for me of how I want to do these and I'm not I'm I finally to a place where I'm not just trying to change things up, you know, for a while, for a long period of my first year, I was always trying to do new things and, and now I'm just kind of, I don't know, I finally have hit whatever groove I'm going to hit. And in, in terms of this, at least for now, and to like, unless I get some kind of super fun idea or something. I don't know. But otherwise, I, this is, this is me and I like our little chat sessions. So wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day. And until we meet again, take care of yourself. Bye.